another bloody Sunday. I'm sure you two did a bloody song about it. Right. Which stump are we going to look at today then? Biogeology. The harp-shaped stone phenomena. Really? I've got to do this? Go on then. Well, hello there, dearest viewer, and welcome back to my little corner of the YouTubers. Thank you all so much for joining me. Now, before we go any further, please like, share, and subscribe. That would be fantastic. Thank you all. And please consider becoming a channel member or a patron. These lovely guys today, Christo Bergro, Alan L, Bob Sadler, Maurice Gotro, and District Driver. Thank you all for your continued support. Or, for just two, yes, two of the Queen's English dollars, you can buy me a can of San Miguel or a packet of milk chocolate obnobs just by clicking the super thanks underneath this video. Now, let's get on with it, shall we? Yes, and today's video features the aforementioned Howard George Stirrup, hashtag don't sense Harold. It features Howard George Stirrup and he is what can only be described as the biggest conspiracy theorist out there. If there's a conspiracy theory out there, old Harold here will believe in it. I mean, for goodness sake, he believes mud floods, giants existed. Um, he thinks the, the, the queen's made of lizards, moon landings were fakes, and all the rest of it. Every single conspiracy theory out there, he believes in it. So, for once, Howard hasn't made a video about a particular conspiracy theory. What Howard has done here has made a video about some rocks and we all know how exciting that is, don't we children? Anyway, I apologise if this video is going to be a bit boring but I, what I will try and do is interject some comedy throughout his video just to break the monotony. Baby, baby! Whoa, 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 Paul, hold your horses. I do apologise, Howard. Please, what have you got to say for yourself? Biogeology. The harp-shaped stone phenomena. That's not biogeology. Biogeology is the study of the interactions between the biosphere and the lithosphere. It is certainly not picking up a rock and going, oh, it looks like an harp. When rough rock is broken into smaller pieces, it tends to maintain its original colour and detail. Wow, talk about stating the bleeding obvious there. Whereas smooth stones, pebbles, appear to be fully intact due to them having a pale skin. Due to the what? What? What the flip it? Come here, come here, Harold. Pebbles don't have skins. There doesn't seem to be any transitional stones between the two categories, which suggests that the smooth stone has a different origin than the rough cut rock. Oh my wordy words. Flipping eck. <laughs> You're not going to find any transitional rocks, and for one, and fantastic reason and if you come a little bit closer i'm going to tell you exactly what that reason is rocks cannot reproduce i don't give a toss what my belt says harp shaped smooth stones can be found either along the coast in valleys riverbeds or just buried in mud many of these smooth stones have the shape of a harp Oh, Harold, 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 for goodness sake, man. Those look like teeth to me, like rough shark's teeth. Megalodons, even. Do megalodons exist? We don't know. But anyway, going slightly off topic, have you ever tried rotating these stones about 45 degrees, maybe 180 degrees? How do you know the flat bit at the top is the top? How do you know the pointy bit is the bottom? You don't, do you? You're just guessing at things. And I asked Mrs. Jones the last time she went away, if you're walking along the beach, just pick up a pebble and bring it back. 
just to show at that particular moment you were thinking about me. So of course she brought a 1500 ton boulder back because she thinks I'm rather rotund. I am only joking, she didn't. She brought this back. So I ask you, Harold, where's the top and where's the bottom? Which in its most common form has a wide flat top and inward tapering sides. As does the heart throughout all kinds of creatures. Oh, let me get this straight. So we're going from heart to heart now. Hang on a minute. Wasn't that a cheesy 80s detective series starring Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers? Nope. The same exact pattern can be found in stones of all sizes with multiple matching features. We can find many external and internal correlations to the anatomy of a heart in each harp-shaped smooth stone. I'll bet you a can of San Miguel Lager and a packet of milk chocolate obnobs that you can't. Openings, creases or indentations located on or near the top, which could be remains of the aorta and vena cava openings. Oh, really? The aorta? No. No, 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 Not in the slightest. Have you ever heard of an, an animal, a bivalve animal called a piddock? It's, it's a clam-like creature that attaches to rocks with something called a foot and it burrows its way into the rock. See, that's a much more plausible explanation than your this could be a heart or remnants of a heart crap. The bottom point is slightly twisted which would be expected if it is due to spiral contraction of the heart muscle. But you don't even know that's the bottom. Where's the bottom of it? You're just guessing at things now. You're just trying to make things fit into your stupid, gormless narrative, you bloody demented half-wit. The front is usually rounded or multifaceted. You don't know if that's the front, you stupid moron! The back side is most often flat or slightly concave. But you don't know if that's the back side, you stupid moron! Whew, do you know, I think I need to calm down a bit because he's winding me up more than Mrs Jones does. Actually, that's just reminding me of a conversation I had with her last night. She interrupted me while I was talking. And I said, God, I feel like Fred West, you know, when I'm talking to you sometimes. She went, oh, what? You want to kill me, do you? I went, no, can't finish a sentence. We find a wide range of faded meaty colours or black. Which may be because there are some blue-blooded creatures. Wow, Harold, you got something right. Yes, some creatures do appear to have blue blood, but this is due to a compound called hemocyanin, which absorbs all colours apart from blue. It reflects blue. So that's why some creatures appear to have blue blood. Yes, you learn something new every day, including me. The quartz that we see running throughout could be petrified fat. Petrified what now? No, and contrary to popular belief, petrified fat is not me after watching Rabid. No siree, it's not. It's not petrified fat. Quartz is quartz. It's a hard crystalline made of silicon dioxide. And that's it. It's not frightened of anything. And please, Howard, can, can we please stop saying could be? Why don't you test it for yourself? Branching out red coloured lines or water-eroded channels could be the remains of blood vessels. You see, you see, there you go again with your could be. Why don't you test it for yourself? This is the advice that you give every time I see you on debates. You say, don't believe me, go and test it for yourself. So why don't you take your own advice and test it for yourself? We know that you won't, Harold. 
We know because we know where it will lead. It will lead to you coming to the wrong conclusions or conclusions that don't match up with your narrative and you will completely ignore the results like you do with Flat Earth. Uh huh. Post edit Mr. Jones here. How are you doing? <laughs> yes, when I recorded this video, it went on for about 24 25 minutes. But you've already said that you don't want videos that long. And somebody suggested, I can't remember who, but thank you for the advice split them into two if they're already too long. So that's exactly what I've done. And part two will be coming very, very soon. So that's it. That's the end of the video. Well, part one anyway. Thank you all so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, etc, etc. And please, please, please join me in the next one, which will be eight o'clock this coming Wednesday. So I love you all to the moon and back to Rafferty Beat.